Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. Oh man, I am here today to reveal the official image for Traxxas Factory Flood. The original placeholder name was Traxxas Tower, then revised to Traxxas Factory Flood, and eventually they've settled on the name Floodgate Firefight which is such a good name. I want to start this video by just saying thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for like all the support that's been around this channel and all my social medias over the last two months. I moved back to England January 1st. For the first time since 2016, and the adjustment period has been wild. I've been launching a new YouTube channel, Simon Says, and also trying to do the domain full time. So any support has just been really very much appreciated. And also to Mega for letting me reveal these kind of products firsthand. Like it's such an honor especially going back the whole 11 years of this channel, it just to get to this point and be able to officially reveal these images, it, it's great, it's great. It's full circle for me. So thank you to anyone who supports in this channel and beyond. This Flood Firefight set, the fan vote winner of 2022, has gone through a long history at this point. I'm gonna break all that down in a minute and then also do an in-depth analysis of this set from the image we've been provided. But I know what you guys are here for. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you the first official image of the finished flood firefight set that ships this fall check it out what is it more brutes worse <laughs> Firefight is the return of Halo Mega Blocks, now Halo Mega from Halo Mega Constructs. Again, there's a rich history here. The Flood have been out of production for years and years and years. And now they're finally back with not only this, but also the brand new Halo Hero Flood Marine. That comes in Halo Hero Series 18. Both of these products ship this year in fall. And I also hope this Flood Firefight set will be available for shipping worldwide on Mattel Creations, but only time will tell with that one. Last year, the community community was able to vote between four different sets, one of them to be produced by Mega this year, and the winner was the Traxxas Factory Flood. <laughs> I keep on saying Traxxas Factory Flood because like I, that, I'm just so like in, ingrained in saying that at this point. But yeah, Flood Firefight was the winner of the fan vote last year, and the year before there was a vote on a figure. The flood was actually in that roster of votes, but it actually lost out to the Haunted Helmet. So it's been this long journey for Mega to bring the Flood back, and I think it's pretty clear that they've wanted to for a while. We also have six popcorn boys in the new Halo Universe Series 2 blind bags, and we have another popcorn included in the new Kinsano Halo Hero. So the winner of the fan vote last year was announced in March, and after that, we had Flood Week on the domain. We had an Instagram Flood contest, the largest Flood firefight diorama ever, and then I got to reveal the new articulation claw for the Flood, and then the full Flood figures. But those figures were just sculpted and painted by hand. They weren't really a representation of the final product, and now we have the official images and boy howdy they do look quite spicy i just love this set man like there's been a few things recently that i've been quite vocal about that mega needs to improve with their products one of them is set pieces like we don't have enough things to make dioramas with the second i've been saying for a while they need to bring back the flood and the third i've said that they need to make variants and alterations to uh characters like battle damage and in this case flood biomass splatter i made a video about a year and a half ago saying that Mega needs to re-release all of their named characters because named characters, they can be collectibles online, but they shouldn't be the only way to get hold of them. Like every kid should have access to all of his favorite characters for cheap. And not because it was released in Halo Heroes like a billion years ago. So I've always wanted them to re-release figures. And it kind of seems funny at this point because that, <laughs> that old version of me that made that video wouldn't have expected that within a year we got a re-release of Red Team and Alpha 9 and Noble Team. And remember the Falcon Sweep is 
going to ship again at Mattel Creations later this year. Like, it's not out of production forever. A lot of those problems I seem to have have all been answered in this set. Like, they've returned to form with the Flood. They've included a massive amount of figures. <laughs> if you include all the popcorn, that is a total of, is that 14 figures? Yeah, man, <laughs> that's 14 figures if you include all those little popcorn-y boys. They've added uh, a brand new diorama piece. Like, it could be even bigger. Like, I want as big as possible with these big dio set pieces, but this is still a great start. They've got an interactive element. They've got that crane. And then they've also got a flood splattered Master Chief. It's all well and good just releasing another Halo 3 Master Chief, but for anyone like me who owns all the Master Chiefs, I don't just want another Halo 3 Master Chief. So to get a Flood Biomass Splattered one is great. I kind of, from this image, I really hope it has more Flood Biomass Splatter, but again, only time will tell. These are only production rendered images. We get in this set a small section of the Traxxas factory from Halo 3. It looks gorgeous, and honestly, it looks so much better than the original cobbled together prototypes. And we're gonna compare the prototypes with the official one in a second. Nice section of a factory with a crane with movable sliding pieces on rails. We got a lot of nice printed decals, and the brown piece looks so similar to the original Flood Halo set. The same designer has been designing this, so it's sort of like a homage to those older Flood sets, which is a really nice touch. A load of accessories, a mounted machine gun turret, sandbags, crates, a ton of weapons, and a weapon pad, which this thing looks great. I don't even remember the last time we got one of them, like the old combat units. Like, it's been a hot minute, so it's great to see that this is like a super interactive set, and we have the return of the health pack. <laughs> like... I, I don't know. I just, I love that thing. It's super nostalgic to me. And then we got the forklift. And Mega confirmed that there were some new pieces that they had to design so the forklift would work properly. There were a load of prototypes they made for that forklift. I know a lot of people are hyped online. I said it before and I'll say it again. I, I never really cared for Mega bringing out a forklift. When they announced it, everyone was like, oh my god, finally we got the forklift. I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> cool, I guess. But it still looks great and it does have a moving mechanism to it. And then we've got the figures. Let's talk about the figures. The Master Chief comes with a nice Halo 3 flamethrower. It does seem like it doesn't have the flame attachment, which also seems a little strange. Like, if you're gonna release the flamethrower, have the flame attachment. I feel the same about the Kinsano Halo Hero. We have a Flood Hunter. Now, this is in the old design. I have no real desire for it to be updated. If Mega have a limited production and peace budget, molding budget, I don't really want to see it used on updating this Flood tank when it, it still looks amazing. But I know what the star of the show is. We got these two elite forms. Now, they look really good, and to be honest, they look a lot better, in my opinion, than they did in the original sculpting process. Like, those were just pictures taken on a desk, and they didn't really represent the final product, but now we can see them in all their glory. They look so sick, man. And the red tentacle pieces just attach in a little hole. Ah, that flood claw is outrageous. I can't believe the individual fingers actually have articulation. I still can't get over that. A plasma rifle and plasma pistol in plain purple. They look phenomenal. They look really, really good. There's a lot of customization you could do with that. You can certainly attach the flood arm to other pieces, but the chest is molded to that elite's chest. So unless you painted that blue, it would still always be a blue elite's chest. But they look so good. And they also look like they've got some good colors and textures. It looks like the shades of brown are sort of melting and moving in between the different limbs. I love it. It, it looks phenomenal. And also the popcorn, a variety of different colors as well, which is a great touch. So it is a, not only a nice <laughs> selection of figures, very generous. I mean, all all those popcorns, 10 of them, and it does seem like they are different colors. Two of these beautiful elites, the Master Chief with Flood Splatter, and then they just, just throw in a Flood Tank. Why not? Just throw that in there. Uh, the set itself. First of all, I love the color choices. I love that the greens of the crates match together, and the yellow of the lift matches the forklift. The original reveal for the winners was March 8th, so that's pretty much exactly a year ago, which is pretty cool. Comparing side by side, uh, the first obvious one is the forklift. Seems like they bulked out the piece count, and obviously it looks way better now it's all in yellow. But it does have some really good printed decals, including that uh, little warning hazard stripe on the bottom. It seems like the arm pieces they've used are different and maybe gives a better lift. The whole thing looks really great, and uh, I'm gonna load some crates on there and and take it to 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 a bat in, into battle. Take it into battle. The original prototype images actually give us a better look at the accessories for the set. We do have two fusion coils as well 
well. A load of bricks, a load of little barrels, and it, it, it's just a really fleshed out set, even those traffic cones as well. You may notice that the crate is a different color. I think they used an original Call of Duty crate for the prototype, but now they've got a proper green crate, this sort of UNSC military-esque green, and I love that. When you compare the figures side by side, it's a little more difficult to do a comparison of these because like these are literally 3D rendered images versus just taken pictures on a desk. It's just, they can't, you can't really compare them, but certainly the flood coloring seems to be way, way better. Just it looks way more realistic and lifelike, but you can definitely compare the two factories. The pieces are pretty much the same. I don't see that many changes they've made, but the colors just work exponentially better. My favorite color change is probably the UNSC green of the weapon pad. I just really love that. This set, man, like, Flood firefight. <laughs> like, let's go. It's crazy. It's so cool that it's back. It's so cool that Mega shared this image with me. It's a me. really exciting time to be a Mega Halo fan. I know that there are still a couple of issues with things like distribution, but with Mattel Creations, they're shipping worldwide, and that's actually combating a lot of this. This month, sometime this month, the Mega Halo fan vote of 2023's pre order will go up on Mattel Creations, and I strongly recommend you support the site by purchasing and pre ordering there. And I think it's probably going to be the only place you can find that Mega. Mega Halo fan vote, not this one. I think this one's gonna go to general store shelves. I mean, this is an easy sell. Like, they need to get this to all the stores. Like, I don't know any store that wouldn't want to buy this. It looks so sick. It's really interesting to see how far a set can come in production over the course of a year. And I really do encourage Mega to share more of the behind the scenes of how these sets are made. Like. Why not all of them? Why not share original, like, 3D printed pieces and just just everything? Like, why not share it all online? I really think Mega should. I hope this is a great step forward for Mega in sort of communicating with the community. Communicating with the community. Communication on a community basis. Now, commu <laughs> communicating with us and uh, just sharing the behind the scenes and also asking us what we want from our sets. And this is also, for the first time in quite a while, a direct adaptation of a level of a game. I know we have had something similar in the past. For example, the Defense Point Showdown was kind of a mission from Halo Infinite. I guess kind of the Pelican was as well, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Trax's Factory Flood, baby. Trax's Tower Flood, Floodgate Firefight. <laughs> Floodgate Firefight. That's the name, Floodgate Firefight. I think I probably said it wrong a couple of times in this video. There's been a lot of names. It's a little confusing. Flood Firefight will be available in fall of this year alongside the new Halo Heroes Series 18 Flood Marine. But I want you to tell us in the comments down below, what Flood character do you want to see next? What enemy or faction would you like to see Floodified in an upcoming set? I think it's pretty safe to say that Mega will have a lot of Flood up their sleeve for 2024. As always, this has been another video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And if you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe and turn on that bell so you can be up to date with all your Halo Mega news. And I also want to mention that I do not support leaks anymore. Like, I don't make videos on them and Mega Constructs news on Twitter and Instagram has also joined me in that. I think it's better if we do just share the official images from Mega. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay oh so super duper safe out there. And the domain is signing off.